Welcome back. Well, a local teenager who dealt with a fear of public speaking has now found his voice. Oh, he sure has. And now he's trying to help others to do the same thing. Jim Mendoza introduces us to Raphael Stark. Besides being a talented musician, Raphael Stark is also a young man on a mission. You see, he was born with a speech challenge. He stutters. Encouraged by his family, Raphael didn't let stuttering hinder him. He turned what some may view as an impediment into a source of inspiration for others who stutter and stammer. It's not so something that's quote wrong with a person. Um, it, it, it's just a, a unique cha challenge that 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 person has. In 2021, in the middle of the pandemic, he founded a nonprofit called Chats to provide a safe space and a resource center for youth who have speech challenges. COVID was just something that no one saw coming and no one ever had experienced before, but Raphael just rose above it and he never gave up. In overcoming his obstacle, Raphael has spoken to hundreds of students, teachers, and healthcare workers in Hawaii about what causes stuttering and how stutterers are as cool as any other kids. I've had some adults come up to, to me telling me that that they are a, a, a lifetime um, stutterer and how they they really appreciate what I'm saying. So did Youth Service America, the national organization recently named the 17-year-old homeschooled junior as an everyday young hero. And it just honestly makes me excited for what more I can do. He's also an award-winning photographer whose pictures have been displayed at the Hawaii State Art Museum and Bishop Museum. He'd like to study cinematography in college, but at this moment in life, he's flexible. You know, life has its own ways, so I'll just kind of go on for, for, for the ride as, as well. For now, Raphael has found his calling. That's encouraging other young people who stutter that their voices matter and their words have power. I'm Jim Mendoza for Hawaii News Now.